Hello, welcome to another QA Automan tutorial. Today we're going to talk about running our tests in parallel. What does running our tests in parallel mean? It means that we will be able to run all of our test cases simultaneously to shorten the time it takes to run all of our tests. This is really, really useful and it saves a lot of time. So how do we do this? Uh, a good way is we're going to use our XML file that I've showed you how to create in a previous lesson. Feel free to check that out before moving forward with this lesson. So if you notice, we, we talked about the suite, the test, the class, and the class. So if you go in your suite file, you're going to type in parallel. And if you notice, uh, four values popped up. Uh, false, turning it off. So that, that's, a, that's a gimme. Uh, then we have tests, classes, and methods. Uh, so you can run uh, tests simultaneously, classes simultaneously, then methods simultaneously. So we're going to click tests. Next thing I want you to type out is thread count. And thread count is how many threads we can have open for our tests to utilize. Uh, we want to put in two. We have two tests currently. If we had more tests, say three, we'd probably put three. Uh, if we wanted to put just two, even though we, only, we had four or five classes, it would just run two simultaneously. So it's how many do you want to have running? Be very careful with this number. Don't go overboard. You want to be somewhat conservative with this number because then you start overloading things. So I'm going to do two. So I want test one and test two to run simultaneously. So I'm going to run my login test XML. And if you watch carefully, so it opened up the one driver. And now it's opening up a second driver. And now it's running test two and test one. So test two finished up and test one is finishing. So this is going to really save time in the long run. I'm going to stop this and because we did see it in action. If we did class, so we're going to run classes. We, I'm going to put classes in here. What's going to happen is it will open, it will open up two threads, but it will only run per test. So it'll run test one, then it will run however many classes simultaneously, so two, then it will move on to the next test, do the same thing, next test, do the same thing. Uh, so this is something where you can open up to like three or four or something a little bit bigger. So it'll just bust through those tests really quick. So you can also move to methods and it does the same thing. It will take a class and just start shooting out those methods and running them as fast as they can move on to the next one, do the same thing. So uh, when you start doing this, try this, put this in your framework, check it out. Hopefully it will save you a lot of time. Now, a few things you should remember when it comes to running tests in parallel, because there might be a, a issue with your tests not being thread safe. Uh, thread safe, or uh, something that's thread safe is if you have things like static calls, um, maybe you have console printing, uh, it will go out of order. Uh, and you don't want that, or it will start running things in different order, or start setting values to static variables that, that other tests are using at the same time. It will really mess things up. So make sure... Uh, I, I can give you an example here. I have load page, and it loads the page that loaded. Then it will say loaded page. And then on the 
login main page, it will say load in page load page login main and then loaded the page login main. If I ran this in order, it would do this in order. But if I decided to run the methods at the same time, and I can set this to say five, watch what happens here. You'll notice it'll open up a ton of browser. Uh, well, actually, I think it'll only open up two. But see, it's running everything at the same time. And the reason for this, this happening uh, is the tests are all using the same exact driver. So it's running, it's using the one driver, and then now it's, it's all of these test methods in the login test, they're all trying to use the same browser to do the exact same thing. So that, that's why everything was messing up because, yeah, the, the driver's on the main page when it's trying to look for the login page and it gets really messed up. So, so I'm setting up my driver before class and after class. So I could probably do, I could thread it or I could run parallel in classes and everything will be fine. Or run test one, run login test, sign up test, test two, login test, sign up test. So usually the classes, as you as you scope out higher and higher up the tiers, uh, the safer you are, the more likely your tests are thread safe. So yeah, it's now it's running everything smoothly. So so that's kind of the introduction to running your tests um, in parallel. Uh, in later episode, I will talk about actually making your tests more thread safe. Hopefully this was really helpful for you guys. If you guys have any comments or questions, please, please comment down below. It would be really useful. I, I've heard some of you guys asking for particular tests, so I really want to make sure I get a lot of these um, issues or scenarios out to you guys. So uh, thank you for those who've commented. Um, I hope, I know I've really slacked on the videos and I will make sure to get back into the groove again. So um, don't forget to subscribe and I will uh, be reading your guys' comments. Until then, this is QA Automan signing off.